Yo, what it do, guys? I'm going to keep this video as short and to the point as I can. This method is all about ranking your Warframes or even your weapons as fast as you can. And with experience, you could even rank whatever you needed as quick as just three minutes time spent here. And by all means, there are other methods available. But for this video, I am focusing on the planet Sedna, the node Adaro and the mission Exterminate. Now, this is mostly done as a solo player. However, you can do this as a duo as well. So let me explain some things. I'm going to start off with why this mission. Now, Sedna Adaro in the star chart is one of the highest end missions that you can do versus the Grenier faction with a really nice tile set and not too many interruptions during your run. All you have to go and do in exterminate missions as well, pretty much kill everything. And the Grenier here are going to be easy to kill. So what do I do? Warframe has an innate mechanic where if you kill an unalerted enemy, they will grant you a stealth affinity bonus which works as follows enemies on your mini map work in three different ways if their triangle is not filled in full red this means that they are unalerted if they are somewhat filled in red they are semi-alerted that something is happening around them if they are fully red then they know about you they will find you and they will kill you so what we need to go and focus on is enemies being unalerted. And this is done by completely blindsiding the enemy. So you see, if two enemies are alive and I was to kill one of them well, and definitely. the other one saw their friend die, they would become semi-alerted and this isn't good. So what you're going to want to do is to completely stop them from seeing or hearing anything happening. We'll get to that bit just in a moment. This also applies to weapon sounds like guns. They can hear it. If a silence related mod is applied to your weapons, this will also help enemies enemies not be alerted to your presence. Now, if we do go kill one enemy in an unalerted state, we will gain a 100% stealth affinity bonus. And every kill we do from here will ramp that up by a bonus of 100% up to a maximum of 500% per kill. That means every unalerted kill that we are doing from here onwards, we are gaining an extra 500% of their affinity as bonus affinity due to stealth killing. And that's the entire gimmick of the method. But wait, there's more. Now, it should go without saying that you can get other ways to increase your affinity gains. On screen will be a list of other methods that you can use throughout this mission to help you level whatever you need to even faster. And guys, this is going to take practice. We're talking practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice, not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. So don't expect your first few runs of this to go super quick and get the returns that you need. No, that ain't happening. Learn the tile set of the mission, pay attention to the patterns and behavior of the enemies, learn to hold close angles to walls and break line of sight against enemies, so forth, so forth. So I get all of that, Clark, and right now I am going to like the video because woo-wee, are you great at explaining? But hey, Mr. YouTuber, earlier you mentioned something about enemies not being able to hear or see anything, right? So does that mean I can just take an invisible frame? No. All right, so there are three warframes that I suggest for this method, and there are going to be three builds to get focus on them. For the love of God, please try all three of them before you go, oh yeah, well, this is better. Yes, you. I know that number one, Ivara. Ivara is without a doubt the best way to learn this method. And I repeat that one more time, the best way to learn this method. Ivara can go invisible with her third ability, so this will help them not seeing you, but she can also use her first ability, Quiver, and cycle through her arrows to the sleep arrow. Now, when shooting your ability, you will cast your enemies asleep. This way, how can there be witnesses if everybody slept? So up on the screen is a build and ideally, everyone's gonna find different stages of comfort. If you need more duration, go for it. If you need more range, do so. And if you need more efficiency, go ahead. The only thing that she won't be needing here is ability strength. So although Ivara is great to learn this method, she is slow in my opinion, and you won't go as fast with her in comparison to the next two Warframes. Number two, Equinox. Equinox is fantastic for this. Using her first ability, you can switch between her day and her night modes. You want to be in her night modes. Now using her second ability, Rest and Rage, casting your rest will put enemies to sleep. Easy, simple, and quick to use. As for a build, slap on range and duration with a little efficiency, and once again, you're done. It's so simple to mod. She doesn't even require a huge setup, and there's a great budget Warframe to use from here onwards. She'll move around much faster than Ivara, but she doesn't have the invisibility to to fall back on so only pick her once you're getting more comfortable with your positioning and guys equinox is no joke either her rest ability requires so little line of sight on your enemies that you can sleep them past walls and barriers without even seeing them if you have enough range on your build her ability is also sub 
consumable within the helmet. So you can use this ability on other Warframes if you wanted to, even Warframes like Loki or Ash that have invisibility in their kits as well. Finally, number one is Banshee. Now, this is a little more than just Banshee. This isn't a budget build either. You will want to have Sephagoth's Warframe subsumed to the Helminth, and you're going to want to infuse his Gloom ability into your Banshee to combo with her third ability, Silence. So remove her first or fourth ability because you don't really need them from here. Banshee's silence causes enemies to hold their heads like they just got the news that Clark is going to start an OnlyFans. Yeah, not pleasant to hear. Now, during this time, they are technically the same concept as being asleep. What I mean by that is if you kill them during this animation, you can continue to gain your bonus stealth affinity. This animation is pretty quick and the duration doesn't scale the speed of it. So this is where Sephagoth's gloom ability comes into play. The more strength that you use with this ability, the more the enemy is slowed. But this also helps any slowing related animation like Banshee Silence. Now these enemies are much easier and faster to kill with these two auras around you. Activate both abilities and go fast, focusing purely on your movement and with time, your speed. As for the Banshee build up on screen is an example, as always, everyone needs to find their sweet spot by messing around with the build. But unlike other Warframes mentioned earlier, Banshee's build here with the Gloom Infused ability will be requiring some strength to help the animation slow. The only thing in this build that mostly gets debated on is how much range do you need? And again, it's a bit of a sweet spot. Everyone has different opinions, so honestly take whatever suits you after a few runs. So that's just basically about it, guys. If you didn't understand, please try watching the video again, but try to play alongside the video, test it out, and you'll see how easily this is to implement into your daily play of ranking Warframes and weapons. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a few questions, so I'm going to go and try and add a Q&A section to my video description and pin to you YouTube comment to hopefully help anyone who's going to ask quite frequently asked questions about things like Lich Lavalins or Xmas units, yada, yada, yada. So this about wraps up the video and I hope it helped you guys. And if you want to help me, hit the like button, share the video with a friend. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. But I'll be catching you guys again soon.